Welcome, everybody. How you doing today? Uh, today's date is uh, August the 4th. It's uh, 8.30 Eastern Time. Uh, it's a uh, Wednesday, hump day today. We're, uh, we're uh, here date to is, cover uh, August the, the markets in plain English, as we always do on this channel. Welcome one, welcome all to the show. Glad you could make it from around the world. Uh, love having you join me. Uh, thank you, all of you uh, who have been sending me private emails, who send me uh, articles that you come across on different stocks that we follow or not. Uh, thank you for... Uh, for uh, those of you who are sending me uh, private donations on PayPal, you guys are unbelievable. Thank you. You're keeping us on the air here. Um, and also those who do super chats and all that stuff. Your members, love you guys. Uh, we're on member chat only this morning. Welcome all of you as members. If you'd like to join the chat here, please become a member of this channel and uh, make a contribution. It costs you 25 cents a show to be here. Um, it's uh, 10 shows a week, 40 shows a month. Uh, for 10 bucks, uh, 25 cents a show. That's all you have to pay to be uh, to be a member here. And that's how we keep the trolls out for the most part. So we're happy about that. Thank you all of you for your continued support of this channel. Of course, members get more than just that, uh, apart from getting to use all these great emojis we have uh, and having fun here. Um, members also get alerts, updates on uh, classes coming up. Uh, stock tips coming up, all kinds of stuff. Um, speaking of classes, I've decided that this week I'm going to take this weekend off. I'm not going to do any classes this weekend. I need a couple of days more to rest. Um, uh, it's been a it's been a nonstop seven day streak here for months, and uh, <clears throat> Jen and I are packing the house, and uh, I want to help her a little bit with some stuff she's doing, and so I'm going to take a week off and. Uh, We'll do classes again starting next weekend. Uh, but speaking of classes, I just uploaded yesterday and this morning lessons seven and eight. <clears throat> and if you're into any of the stocks that we're talking about, or if you're into any stocks out there in general, um, you can uh, learn a few uh, interesting uh, trading techniques by looking at these lessons, especially the last two that I just uploaded, number seven, number eight where we're talking about um, trading, uh, 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 writing put contracts on stock and also doing uh, put option credit spreads, call option credit spreads. And we talked about the poor man call option writing strategy. Uh, when we went into that, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, uh, if you are into, uh, if you want to make some money on, on some of these stocks that we're following or any stocks you're following, you may want to look into uh, the poor man um, option writing program and or credit spreads and or writing put options. And we are, we've been talking about this on the air here a little bit more, but if you want to get a handle on it all, check out number seven, number eight, lesson seven, eight, you can get, you can get your hands on those lessons by going to the website for stockmarketswithbruce.ca, which is my web address, stockmarketswithbruce.ca, because I'm out of Canada, instead so of .com, it's .ca. Uh, you can find the classes there. You can watch the ones you want to watch um, and uh, and enjoy that. Can you explain the warrants on CXYT? From what I understand, it looks like when the the uh, deal went through for Sextera that all shareholders of uh, of the former company were also given uh, one for one plus warrants as as a uh, as a switch and uh, you have an opportunity to exercise warrants to help fund the company if you wish to um, and as I understand it the warrants are trading at 175 180 something like that 170 180 and you are free to sell them and take the money uh, it's a free gift for every three shares you had you now have a share of Sextera and one warrant and that's a gift out of the out of nowhere if you're getting 180 for this for the year warrant that's like 60 cents a share uh, as compensation for you. Uh, look at it that way. That uh, That's 60 cents against the cost of your Sextera stock. And way to go. 839 now on Sextera, up 2 cents a share. You can hold the warrants for as long as you want. They're good for a while. They're exercisable. Is it 1150 if I recall? Um, you know, if the shares go higher, the warrants go higher. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. maybe dumb question but is there such a thing as a correction to the positive side oh 
not no they don't know they 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 the term correction is a wall street term um you know wall street brokers um they really don't like telling you when to sell they have you ever noticed that um whenever you watch the halftime report with the uh, with the characters on there and uh they talk about uh the judge will say uh the judge will say, oh, uh, Stephanie, you sold uh, whatever uh, stock. It, it makes her look nasty. It looks her look mean, makes her look mean. He, he kind of gives the impression that you've done something wrong. And she goes, I'm up 60% on the stock. I'm going to take profits. Uh, that's my job. I take profits when I make these kind of money. Um, it's a dirty word to, to make a profit in, in New York almost. It's like to sell is a dirty word. Uh, so you only hear about buy, 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 buy. You never hear about sell, 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 sell. So you get that. I brought back my GameStop covered call yesterday. When should I think about writing more again? Uh, well, watch that stock. It's uh, popping up a little bit. Let's see what it wants to do. Um, you might want to write a put. Maybe you may want to write a put contract with your stock as backup. Maybe you want to write a uh, one, uh, 150 put contract for this Friday or next Friday. You may want to do that. Take some, some money that direction. Stock goes higher. Put goes down. the uptrend and so for SoFi my gamble uh, uh, self kicks in and wants to play on SoFi 15 calls for October 15 or towards 260 premium break even at 17 16 enough time to flip down the road sir boy I I just do not recommend short-term contracts I just don't uh, you've really got to stay away if you're prepared to pay 260 um, you, you got to go into you got to go into further outs uh, you really do uh, I know I know you're a gambler uh, but you got to be careful here this is real money you're playing with, and you really want to be, uh, you know, I mean, I'd rather you write, write a put on 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 uh, SoFi. I'd rather you were writing October fifteen dollar puts and taking in the money. I'd rather you do that. If you think the stock's going up, those puts will evaporate to nothing. And so write write puts um, and take take the premium. Uh, that would be the way I would I would recommend it. Uh, looking at uh, October contracts if i can get them to pop up here uh uh where am i here uh options here we go options options um and um october options here we go um yeah october 15 so you'll bring in um uh what is it a buck 60 something buck 70 um buck 60 65 you can write 1750s if you are confident that SoFi will go higher. Write 1750s for 310. Uh, you're committing to buy the stock at at 1440. Uh, it's right now at 16 dollars a share. I mean, write 1750s and take in the three bucks. Um, however many you want to write. Um, you know, the higher the stock goes, the lower these premiums will be. It's already down 50 cents on the day because of this move at 1597 right now. SoFi now sixteen dollars. So I mean, if SoFi goes to eighteen bucks between now and September, these contracts will go down to a dollar. You'll score a two dollar gain. That's like taking a two sixty contract to four sixty on the call side. Forget the call. You're, you're, it's all premium. Write this put and and take the money off the table. If you're writing fifteens, you'll probably score all one sixty two. It'll expire worthless. Thank you very much. If you want to really gamble, write the twenties. Uh, you, you can bring in about five bucks a contract right now, five hundred dollars. Um, if stock goes to 18, they're only worth 200. You make three bucks, but I think the 1750s are a better way to go because they are three bucks and they'll be out of the money. And there you go, 1603 on the stock. Write the the 1750 October 15 put contracts on SoFi and score some money. Can Robinhood trading so high be good for SoFi? Investors thinking, man, SoFi is a competitor. It can go to 60 bucks too. Buy now. Yes. That's exactly right. Um, those who are jumping all over Robinhood are going to look at SoFi and go, hey, why don't I buy this? And as a matter of fact, why don't I buy the call options on this stuff and the stock? Because, heck, SoFi could go to 30. That's a double. That's like that's like Robinhood going from 60 to 120. Why don't I just get SoFi to, to 32? 16 to 30, I'll double my money. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, there is that thought, that possibility. And as Robinhood keeps getting hotter and hotter and hotter. SoFi will catch more and more of the spillover. And it doesn't need 70 million shares to go up a dollar. 9 million shares, 10 million shares goes up a buck. So you, you trade 30 million in a day, you could pop up three bucks in one day. That's what I'm talking about with SoFi. At any time, it can jump. 
dollars a day anytime and for consecutive days after days after days this could happen uh we'll have to watch for that of course what's the importance of psychological numbers and how to take advantage of them when trading well uh, you know when it broke nine you know this this is a psychological barrier for 23 and me uh just like sofi was 16 that was a psychological barrier we busted it uh, people just get confidence and they want to get in on this thing. So, so 23 and me is certainly on a recovery track. Uh, obviously a week ago we were sitting at, uh, seven, uh, 76 a share. Uh, you know, this is a lot better looking, isn't it? Uh, for sure. We haven't been here now for a while. It's been, uh, gosh, uh, July 23rd since we've been around this neighborhood. It's been a while. So welcome back. 23 and me um, even without news it's drifting higher i love this uh, somebody in, in, in the chat of Bruce, i know it's basic just to be sure I, I if i sell a put the buyer has the right to put stock in your hand yeah that's right if you if you sell the put you are obligated to buy the stock at the exercise price but you get to keep the premium that you just got paid so if you write a put on uh, GameStop at 140 and you get $5 a share for that, then you have to buy the stock at 140 but you got five bucks a share already. You only have, have only put up 135 And there's a certain amount of time that you're obligated to do that for. If the stock does not get put to you at that low price, you keep the five bucks as a gift. Thank you very much. Nice and little deal. $500 for that contract. I want to buy some calls, but what are your recommendations right among our SPACs, former SPACs, ATIP, Matterport, anything else? Well, Matterport, if you can get 12, 50 calls, that's a good deal. 15 calls, of course, so they're just out of the money. 23, uh, 23 and me, 750s and 10s are the ones uh, for sure. Um, uh, ATIP, 415 on the stock. Uh, I just like the stock here, but you can always buy 250s. Um, and then SoFi, 1627 right now, you know, looking at $15 calls or in the money. You might want to look at those. Thank you, everybody, for uh, for that. If you'd like to talk to me about a one-hour session, you want to get together with me, send me an email through uh, my email address, which is right here. It's the old school hotmail.com email address. Send me an email. Say, Bruce, I'd like to talk to you on a one-on-one -on -one session. When can you book me in? I'd like to uh, I'd like to make a reservation and, and, and lock it in right away.